to hear someone say, first of all, if you're going to make it through the night, <laughs> second of all, if you make it to the morning, I may have to take your leg, was the toughest thing I've ever heard in my life. My name is Alicia Cole. I live in Columbus, Ohio, and I am a patient advocate. In 2006, I found out that I had what's called fibroids. I went in to have those fibroids taken out um, so that I could be ready to start a family. I was an athlete and I literally trained for my surgery the same way I did when I trained for the LA Marathon. I went into that hospital in the best physical shape of my life to be fully prepared for my body to bounce back right away from that surgery. I was supposed to be in for two days and then on bed rest for two weeks and then carry on with the rest of my life. Ah, um, but sometimes things don't go according to plan. And I left the operating room with a fever. I was nauseous. I was having chills. And at first the doctor thought that it was a reaction to the anesthesia. Only I wasn't getting any better. After that second day when I didn't get to go home, that flashed back into my mind and I thought, okay, something's going on now. This isn't the way it was supposed to go. That tiny black dot that turned into a quarter-sized pustule eventually turned into a cocktail of superbugs culminating in necrotizing fasciitis or flesh-eating disease. And everything changed from that moment on. My, my entire life changed from that moment on. You don't ever want anyone to feel the kind of pain that you feel when your body is being eaten alive. That tiny black dot over my incision eventually led to seven surgeries, nine blood transfusions, and being in the hospital for two months. Never would have imagined that two days would turn into all of that. I never dreamed that this would happen to me. But if it happened to me, it can happen to anyone. I went from survivor to patient advocate. I used my patient advocacy to put a face to the harm, to put a face to those infection numbers. Sharing my story is my mission. One surgical site infection is one too many. If I could give any surgeon one piece of advice from a patient perspective. Stay open. I want doctors to know. I want doctors and surgeons to know that they hold not just one life in their hand, but they hold a family in their hands. They hold a community in their hands. As a healthcare provider, if you could add another layer of protection to what you're doing for your patient, why wouldn't you? We can get zero surgical site infections. We just have to believe that we can. I never knew or imagined that surgical site infections were common in our hospitals. The power to reduce the risk of surgical site infections is in our hands. Zero starts with one.